Yellow fever is a viral disease transmitted by mosquito bites. A distinguishing feature of this disease is a high fever paired with the yellowing of the skin and eyes, a condition known as jaundice. This combination of yellow skin and fever gives the disease its name, yellow fever. The yellow appearance is a result of the breakdown of red blood cells into a substance called bilirubin. Interestingly, the yellow fever virus doesn't directly harm these blood cells. Instead, it affects the liver's function, making it unable to process bilirubin, a yellow compound that forms naturally during the breakdown of red blood cells. Consequently, bilirubin accumulates in the bloodstream and, over time, gets deposited in the skin and eyes. People initially infected with yellow fever often experience a sudden onset of symptoms like fever, chills, headaches, joint aches, backaches, and other flu-like symptoms. For 85% of affected individuals, these symptoms will subside without complications within about four days. However, for roughly 15% of patients, the disease progresses to what's termed the toxic phase. In this phase, individuals endure heightened fevers, bleeding, and damage to internal organs, notably the liver and kidneys. Regrettably, for half of those experiencing this severe form of the disease, the outcome can be fatal, often due to multi-organ failure. Presently, there isn't a specific treatment for yellow fever. This associated bleeding can manifest both internally and externally. For instance, individuals may experience nosebleeds, bleeding gums, or even notice blood in their vomit and stools. In severe cases, bleeding can also occur within the eyes and brain. Annually, yellow fever is responsible for approximately 30,000 deaths, with a staggering 90% of these cases taking place in Africa. The disease can be attributed to the yellow fever virus, which is a member of the Flavaras family. Those who live in or visit regions where the disease is endemic, particularly in parts of sub-Saharan Africa and tropical South America, face the most significant risk. For diagnosis, the most reliable test is the Plaque Reduction Neutralization Test, PRNT, which gauges the presence of antibodies that can neutralize the virus. Being a viral condition, the primary approach to treating yellow fever is supportive care. This includes rehydration, pain management, and reducing fever with medications like acetaminophen. It's vital to note that aspirin is not recommended as it can exacerbate bleeding, and the use of other NSAIDs is likewise discouraged for similar reasons. Factors like pre-existing liver and kidney conditions can make the prognosis graver. Additionally, malnutrition and weakened immune systems can further complicate recovery. Fortunately, there's a vaccine against yellow fever, and it's highly effective. This vaccine is accessible in areas where the disease is common. Emphasizing prevention, vaccination stands as the most formidable defense against yellow fever. This vaccine not only provides long-lasting protection, often for a lifetime, but has also played a pivotal role in preventing outbreaks.